Srini Pajuri. Uh, Srini, this is one of those situations where there is everybody, everybody, I guess, is on one side of the boat. Is there any risk to everybody being so bullish on the prospects for an NVIDIA? Yeah, um, thanks for having me, Dom. So uh, that's an interesting question. Right now, the demand for AI um, accelerators, you know, the stuff, the GPUs that NVIDIA makes is so strong. Um, on top of that, you know, they also have this new product called Blackwell that's going to ramp starting in a Q2, Q3 timeframe. So, um, you know, based on what we are seeing right now, um, we, we, we don't think there's much risk in the short term. Obviously, you know, uh, the demand has to continue. And if you look at their customers, the big cloud companies, uh, they continue to spend very aggressively. So as long as that spending, uh, spending continues, uh, we don't see any risk in the short term, at least. What, what kind of a risk could there be? Let, let's say that these companies are spending because everybody pretty much has to spend. Investors, customers are almost expecting these companies to spend on AI. What exactly then has to stop in terms of spending? What can actually derail this NVIDIA narrative anytime in the medium term? Yeah, I, I guess you know, at the end of the day, when you're spending this level of you know, capital um, expenses, you need some return uh, to justify this, this, this CapEx investment that we're seeing today. Uh, right now, um, it's you know the competition among these customers is highly intense. Uh, you know, obviously Microsoft and Google and Facebook, uh, they want to maintain their lead in AI, so they're continuing to spend. But I, I guess if if there's no return on investment, eventually, you know, that could put uh, at least in you know, a slow down the spending that we're seeing. Um, the other uh, potential risk is competition. Um, Nvidia has done a great job, you know, maintaining their market share, maintaining their technology lead. Uh, but there's always that risk that, you know, there's going to be some competition at, at, at some point. Uh, the one that, you know, we are watching closely is, you know, what we call custom silicon, uh, the chips made by their customers themselves. Uh, if you look at Google, uh, they're already using their own silicon for a few years now. And most others are, are, have also announced their, their own custom chips. So, you know, that could potentially become an issue as we look out to the next uh, one to two years.